Hi, my name is Rajesh Bruwal. I am from India. I am born brought up in Chandigarh. It's a beautiful city in India. My roots are in Uttarakhand. It's called land of God. I belong to a country which is known for its spices. Since childhood, I had dreamed to become a chef. If, if you go to any kitchen around the world, you will see one person is from Uttarakhand. I still remember 2008, 22 September, I landed in Calgary, Alberta, and worked there for two years. And after that, I moved to uh, Red Deer, Alberta, and worked with the Moxies in Red Deer. And since I reside in Red Deer, and uh, after Moxies working for two years, I moved to Holiday Inn, work as a banquet chef there. And after that, working there, I learned a lot. Working with the chef Emmanuel, it was a great pleasure to work for him. And he is one of the greatest chef in Red Deer. I think he's one of the greatest chef in Red Deer's history. I think, I believe, one of the best restaurants he had. And I was very proud to working for him. And working within six months, he, helped, he promoted me to the banquet chef. And from there on, my life begins and I was very excited, happy, and passionate what I do and what I love to do every day, chef as a cooking. Since then, never looked back, worked, worked all the way back, all the way up, learned lots of different cuisines, lots of gastronomy, it, uh, classical French cuisine, Italians, Mexican, of course, Indian. Indian was the key. Of course, I am from India, so we learned lots of Indian food there. And I still remember the day we used to make a, a chicken curry, rice, biryanis, lots of food, lots of spices. The time we make the food there, whole staff and hotel was come in the kitchen and say, what are you guys cooking? What are you guys cooking? It was so exciting because Indian spices are like a, like a, like a, like a 
beautiful fragrant right and they smells they smells beautiful they goes all over the hotels and people was coming to us and they saying wow what is this like what are you guys cooking and it was so exciting and i didn't realize until then you know indian spices are so powerful that you when you cook them and they can they can go all the way to the even reception and people are coming for reception say oh what are you guys cooking today we so excited and then I studied in a hotel management college in India and after that worked with a five star hotel in India Taj Group of Hotels and after that moved on to Canada and working in Canada I decided to go Red uh, Red Seal or Journeyman that's what they they call in here in Red Deer Alberta and I pursuing my in 2012 I pursued for uh, my Journeyman uh journeyman chef education in reddel college currently i'm working with a reddel college uh, as a chef hello everyone my name is dina um born and raised in newfoundland um actually not born in newfoundland i was born in north york ontario raised the remainder of my life in newfoundland from 8 months old um I did all my schooling in Newfoundland. I uh, graduated 2004. I then went to work from 2004 to 2009 where I started talking to uh a guy on the internet um which led uh to June 2009 me uh moving from Newfoundland Island to Alberta to meet Right. Um I moved in June uh to come see him and after a couple months of living here in Alberta, uh Calgary, um we decided to go back to Newfoundland to uh introduce Raj to my family where everybody accepted him. Um we decided while in Newfoundland that we would get married. So after only a couple months of uh being together we made the decision to get married and after that we are still together is almost 10 year now i think 10 11 year and it's been wonderful i'm sure is always up and down but it was it was a good good uh, good team i guess i would say that's what i call my relationship as a team right because have to be both equally responsible for uh for venture of this life we are raising our three kids together in red deer alberta in 2013 september i still remember the date i started my new restaurant called edgar restaurant in red deer and it was a small cafe for the uh, i was uh, for the people around the uh, businesses mostly from the people um, office office clients mostly my uh, restaurant was mostly for office clients and uh, it was beautiful small 40 cover restaurant and where i met judy this is the best like you know the thing we do making chai at work and i remember my chef is from uganda and of course he's is a more coffee drinker but the day we started making chai for him and he's like he love in a chai right and the you know the different between our chai and any other tea you guys drink is the spices the spices we use and my favorite spice is the cardamom or ginger or or a nutmeg sometimes depends on or um, fennel even fennel where i grew up is more northern india fennel is very popular fennel ginger basil and cardamom even dina probably use lots of cardamom right every time we make tea and we used to make boil the tea and all the spices people would love that and not only flavor of the teas in the food too like lots of indian food, uh, spices are not only spices they are remedy we grew up with the indian spices and my mother used to like you cannot believe dina spices my mother 
when we get cold she used to make a this ginger like i don't know in canada they call hardy dotty right like when you guys uh, boil the ginger ale right same thing in india we boil ginger in a hot water and make tea with that and that helps lots of in the cold right and lots of like i'm sure all you guys know about indian spices like a turmeric is another antiseptic like proven by the scientists everybody right and and another benefit for turmeric what i learn is it's beautiful like you know we in restaurant industry i think is a, is a it's a god gifted right turmeric we use for lots of color changing for example like instead of using a, a like a, a chemical to food color your food we use the turmeric lots of potatoes lots of dishes we make in restaurants nowadays i use always go for natural which is turmeric and use that as a substitute of yellow color same and it helps actually turmeric is a more like a antiseptic and it's actually very good for your inner inner system of your body right uh in 2013 we have bought our own house and from there for the next 6 years i had ran my day home out of my home um i worked in daycares i was a nanny i did a whole whole bunch of jobs around child care and children so um after buying our own house in 2014 i was blessed with my first son kenley who's 7 years old um i was blessed and been able to stay at home with him uh having my own day home i was able to stay with him and work at the same time uh in 2018 i had my second son kishan who is almost 4 um since kishan i've been blessed to be able to stay at home um and not have to work um and then in 2020 covid baby number 3 kian um and here we are still in red deer so how i chose the name kishan for my second son um after choosing the name kenley for my first son um having an english name um it was brought to me by my father i chose the second name to be a hindu name as i wanted to associate you know um rajas culture into our next son's name um i didn't go in specifically looking for any name i just knew i wanted a name that started with k because i was going with a uh, theme for k's um and i googled uh hindu boy names starting with k and so many names come up and i was scrolling 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 and it's hard to pronounce some of the names so I said to Raj, you know, I said Raj, I said what how do you pronounce this name? And he said Kishan. And that name from when he pronounced the name it just stuck to me like Kishan. That's his name. Is that okay? Raj agreed and we just stuck with that name Kishan. It something just drew me to the name and you know a couple of people tried to say well that's an old name that's an old name you know like to something you know more modern like more newer and i said no i said i'm quite happy with the name kishan and at that time i didn't know it was uh lord krishna's name and um i've learned a little bit about some of the gods um in the hindu religion and once once i heard that name there was just no other name that fit it was just kishan And that's how Kishan got his name. Uh so Chai for me um before meeting Raj would have been going to Tim Hortons and grabbing, you know, a cup of tea from Tim's or going to Starbucks and grabbing like a chai or a latte or something. But after being with uh Raj and being married for so many years, the my love for chai is totally different. Um 
now when I make chai, it's got to have the ginger, it's got to have the cardamom, it's got to be the specific amount of tea leaves, specific amount of milk. It's definitely uh, a totally different experience for chai, um, which leads me to a funny story. My most recent trip to India um, was totally different than my first trip. When I went for my first trip, we went for a wedding. I didn't have to cook, I didn't have to make tea, I didn't have to do anything like that. Um, this time around, it was more like living in India. So we spent six months there and you wake up six o'clock in the morning, um, you know, Mataji is asking, where's chai, where's chai? You make chai six o'clock in the morning, then nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, doesn't matter the time, chai is, every day, all day. Um, if you have a guest come in the house, you make chai. It's, if somebody else comes right after that, you make more chai. Uh, chai is, uh, shows a love for sociality. It shows um, people love uh, just sitting down, drinking their tea and chatting. So many times I watch my mother-in-law sit there with a cup of tea, talking to her friends, um, just enjoying life in general, just with their tea. Um, everybody in India would be like, who made the chai? Who made the chai? Even though I served it, they couldn't believe that, you know, I made this chai. Um, it's just, it everything changes like, when you're when you're like shown spice when you're introduced to spices everything changes food everything and chai is definitely one of the main uh hot spots of india you would go um there'd be tea stalls on the side of the road people just selling little paper cups of tea um and you know one of the best things you'd taste is just a random on the side of the road tea stall. Um, it's it's just amazing how this the love for the spices can make chai taste so good when you come from Canada, which is just like people putting a tea bag in a cup with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of milk. And now I'll never look at chai the same as every morning now I have to get up and make chai. If chai pot is not on, Raja is saying, Dina, are you making chai? Are you making chai? I would go to work. I need to enjoy chai before I go to work. I've noticed one similarity with uh, Canada and India, and that's the love for coffee and tea. Um, Canada, everybody liked Tim Hortons chai, Tim Hortons tea, coffee, whereas Indians, they love their homemade chai, like, like their mom or their wives would make for them, right? Chai. I think chai is not a only word chai. It means a lot to Indians, to me actually. I remember growing up a chai was like a I think like Coca-Cola, right? I, I believe, really believe people drink Coke, Coke like, you know, like, uh, like crazy in Canada or uh, Europe even, right? In India, chai. Chai means like if you go walk in the stalls, or you walk in the market or walk somewhere, well, you know what you will see first thing? Chai. And the way they cook it, I think those people or people who know that they love the tea, they know how to cook actually tea. They actually put love in it. You know, people say tea is just a tea bag, you know, just put tea, boil it. No, no, no. I think tea, making tea is art. I know the spices they put is like a magic. I think that my chai business is really unique in Alberta, in central Alberta for sure. There are a few tea makers in Calgary that I've been aware of and one particular um, family that I've shared um, markets with and it's been great. We just 
introduce each other and see what's unique about their product. Um, when I think about other tea makers that have influenced us, I think of um, the chai makers in, in uh, the United States. And I, two particular stand out for me. One is called Chico Chai from Chico, California. And um, she has created a little store so people can come in and drink chai there. Uh, she's a big um, consumer of almond milk. So they actually package their concentrate together with the almond milk and sell it that way. Uh, we've talked back and forth because she has her own little production facility in her shop. And then the second person would be uh, Monica from the Chai Box. And she's um, on the other side, so on the East Coast. She has won numerous awards. She was in Oprah's Favorite Things this year, which was super exciting. And um, she has attended some of the huge tea um, uh, expos that happen in, um, in, I think Las Vegas was the most um, recent one. And they all are super uh, friendly and willing to share information with me and me to them as well. I helped Monica develop her chai concentrate and um, it's just good to share things back and forth. There's no competition there. They're far enough away. I'm far enough from them. So it's worked out really well.